What's going on YouTube? In my previous video, we talked a lot about the logic actions that are built into Touch Portal. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a preview window for your live stream in your Touch Portal device. This will allow you to preview your live stream from your device so you don't have to preview your stream from your PC. If you're on a single PC stream setup, this will be helpful for you in reducing CPU usage and then also maximizing the usage of your Touch portal device this function is actually really cool pretty easy to set up this is going to be a quick one but a valuable one and if you want to keep up to date on all the touch portal guides that i create make sure you subscribe to this channel with that being said let's jump right into this video so far in these beginner guides we've set up this twitch page for ourselves we've covered all the logic with creating this sort of page obviously you can add a lot more customization if you would like but in this video we're going to take a quick look at setting up a live preview in order to do this we need to make sure we add in one more row and we're going to put a new button in right down here we'll do it on this left icon here so go ahead and left click on that the first thing we want to do is change this button size from a one to one to a two to one after that it's quite simple all we need to do is scroll down in our action menu on the left we need to find the obs section what we're looking for is the event action for scene output to icon this is going to preview a scene that we select on this icon what we want to select is the current scene selection here, and then we can adjust the settings for this icon. If you want to have it at maximum speed, so you can keep up to date as quickly as possible on your touch portal device, you can do that. Keep in mind, this will require more resources in order for this to function well. I actually am using the one frame per second and it works just fine for me. It lets me know what's going on on the stream when I glance over at my tablet. I also put the video quality at low because I don't need it at a very high quality and it just saves resources, which in my opinion is a great thing to do. So go ahead and take Hit save on this new button what you'll notice is this button is not a one-to-one -one ratio it's a two-to-one ratio go ahead and hit the refresh button on your device and you should have a new live display on this button if we take a look at my device for example this is what that button looks like down at the bottom of the page it's successfully previewing what I see in OBS or the OBS preview window into touch portal so I can monitor what's going on on my stream or my recording recording whatever scene that I'm on from that button. Obviously, you can do a lot of cool things with this by changing the size of the button, changing the location of the button, so on and so forth. But in this video, I simply just wanted to show you how to set up this function for yourself. Now go out there and make a very pretty and beautiful Twitch page on Touch Portal and share it in the Touch Portal Discord. If you do make a really cool looking Twitch page, you should definitely hop into my Discord server as well and share it with my community i would love to see the stuff that you guys are creating anyways guys that was a short tutorial but a very very useful one i want to thank you so much for watching this video if this video brought some sort of value to you or you learned something from this video do me a solid and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on future touch portal guides i'm the francois and i want to thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you in my next one peace